There are few things out there that scared me as much as this game. Electric Dreams is Aliens, released in 1986 and based on the blockbuster movie. This game haunted my dreams for weeks, months even, as a young child. And yet, when I got hold of a C64, I kept coming back to it time and time again to experience the delicious dread. So, what on earth could be so frightening about this game? A game from 1986. How could it inspire such fear, such dread, compulsive dread, and compulsions to play? Let's find out. Electric Dreams is Aliens is a first-person perspective game. How about that in 1986? I hesitated to call it an FPS, but I guess that's what it is. It is presented from the perspective of our characters, our squad, Gorman, Hicks, Burke, Vasquez. Back to Burke again. I, th- I think I missed out Bishop. Poor old Bishop. But yes, and Ripley, so the uh, characters from the movie are here. And you sweep your cursor, your crosshair, from left to right each of these numbered rooms and there are 250 you need to make your way through. Some are already blown open, some you can just walk through with the space bar. You select your squad with the uh, first letter of the keys except Bishop you select with I, so G for Gorman. And what's cool what I just did there is if you set a character and then give them a map direction and number of rooms to go through. They all follow you through. I never actually did this because I never had the manual back in the day. I think I played this off a, a Zap cover tape. Either that or I was too I was too young to read them properly. But yes, we're advancing through the colony to room 10. It's all silent. There's no threats here. It's perfectly safe. As you can, oh, you can see that uh, green bar, and that's a stamina bar, and moving the crosshair or firing or moving through rooms takes stamina. It becomes a resource management game. <gasps> now this is a dreadful sound. You all f- learn to fear this. This is a, the set alert like when your squad is in danger. A xenomorph is right there. A quick shot from Hicks took it down, a headshot, and there's a pool of deadly acid there now. Do not approach. And as we can see, it was gunking up the walls with that kind of like alien stuff and hiding doors. This is what's so cool, what builds tension. Hicks is in trouble. Again. We need to find this alien sweep. The aliens, you're not just encountering the aliens, they will move through the complex and hunt your squad. Yeah. This is where it ramps up the tension, you think. This this is easy. Out comes Burke. Burke's you know, going to try and uh, be the Burke he is. Take it down. Burke is dead. Taken by one of the aliens. That's one down. This is what ramps up the tension. The silence. The resource management. The fact that you've got limited ammunition that you need to expend blasting the walls as the aliens gunk it up they come in waves and later in the game you get different alien types as well Vasquez, Hicks Vasquez is in trouble, got an alert so we need to press V quickly and find a source of danger You, th- you think they, you think at the start they move slowly. How can you miss these things that are moving so slowly? But then as, as a tension, the silence takes its toll. And you start losing stamina. Yeah, it's, it's so well done, the tension. Gorman moves through, advancing. Encounters a xenomorph. Coleman was not quick enough or accurate enough and has been taken as well. So that's two down. I can, yeah. It's. I've played this like dozens. 
maybe hundreds of times in in total over my span of my life. It's still. So we can see Vasquez is losing is Vasquez's ammunition is uh, critically low now. He's in trouble. Here comes another one. <sighs> Quick headshot there. Bishop, Bishop in trouble. Come on, Bishop. No, don't be Bishop. Oh. Bishop obviously didn't see the uh, Xenomorph lurking. It's the one, that, from, one, one from behind that got him now. The longer you're in a room with an alert, the more chance that other Xenomorphs will come and snatch you. Hicks. Hicks is in trouble. Yeah, but yes. Come on, Hicks. Yep, taken before we had a chance to get there. It's so well done. There's another... Aliens game, an Activision one, which more closely follows the movie as like mini mini games. Oh dear, Ripley's gone. But this this has been my until Alien Trilogy came along. This was like my my Aliens game experience. I never played the arcade version, the arcade Konami arcade uh, brawler shooter. See, Vasquez has no ammunition now. She needs to run, run through the hallways. And the, the, the xenomorphs are closing in. There is no hope. No hope at all. She's slowing down, tiring. Can she reach the door? No, they're, they're everywhere. Vasquez can't move now, she's helpless. And this sound, this dreadful sound. And she's been taken. And she's not, a lot, she's not uh, dead. She's on yellow. She's been... Snatched and gunked and impregnated by the aliens. And with no one left to save her, 